Late Night Help continues. I'm Mark Allen. Coming up in about 15 minutes, uh, Brent Hunter returns to the show with his new book, The Power of KM. Uh, Brent is an internationally acclaimed uh, author, two graduate degrees, 11 professional certifications, knowledge management, change management, all kinds of things. And uh, really a very sweet and nice guy. So we'll be talking with Brent in about 15 minutes from now as we wrap up this edition of Late Night Health. Right now we're spending some time with David Foreman, uh, the author of Four Pillars of Health, and we're talking about heart disease. So salmon is not great, but if you eat krill oil, we've established that that's a good way of getting omega-3s. Right. In the in the 70s, uh, we used to talk about chelating uh, plaque from our arteries. Um, Ooh. I know. And Wow, do, man, I'm impressed, Mark, I gotta say. Hey, and, and cleaning out our arteries and our heart from that buildup, which can increase blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, as well as causing or being significantly uh, a part of a heart attack. Can we, in your opinion, use nutrition and exercise to reduce the amount of plaque in our arteries? Oh, big time. Um, uh, there's actually uh, uh, a nutritional supplement people can can find at most, even pharmacies and health food stores. Um, it's a, a form of vitamin K, vitamin K2. So there's two forms of K. There's K1 and K2. K1 is more known for its uh, clotting you know, helps your body clot, you know, so mm-hmm. if you cut yourself, you'll, it'll, but K2, there's some really compelling studies on vitamin K2, and uh, vitamin K2 is found more more so in old-fashioned fermented foods, like, uh, more like, uh, and most people are not consuming those, so a supplement version of it, but there was a really cool study done on, it was uh, with women, and, um, and it was a five-year study, and what they found is taking vitamin K2 um, helped remove that the uh, calcification from the veins, and it also helped improve bone densities because it actually helps move calcium out of the bloodstream and into the bones. That's one wow. of the functions of vitamin K2. So, so people suffering yeah. from osteoporosis, women in particular. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, K2 is one of the things I recommend for people that have it's one of the top things I recommend for people that have um, concerns with osteoporosis or just thinning of the bones. And, of course, uh, it's a you know double benefit. It's helping get the calcium to get it to go where it was supposed to go as opposed to being deposited in the veins and arteries. So, yeah, it, you, it's, it, it's a long process, though, Mark. I said it took five years for them to really notice the difference. So it's not like it, you take it today and then you know, six months later you don't have it. it it's a slow, steady process that then occurs. And what about, I mentioned oatmeal as being my favorite cold weather breakfast. Is oatmeal considered a, a good thing to reduce cholesterol in the in the blood and to reduce that buildup of plaque? Um, so the answer to the question on cholesterol, yeah, it can be. Um, and, the, and the key word in there is can. Um, it, you really need to be consuming the old-fashioned oatmeal that you cook on the stove. So nowadays they call it like steel-cut oatmeal. It needs to be consumed daily. So you really, in order to get that heart-healthy benefit, it's not like you're going to have it for breakfast only on cold days, Mark, uh, because you live in Southern California as well, and, you know, we don't have that many cold days. So yeah, it's 89 and, degrees today, you know. It's yeah, I know. Be man, it was wicked yesterday. I went for a hike yesterday, and I was like, oh, my gosh, it's, it was 93 where I was, and I'm like, this is nuts. But um, it, you do need to eat it every day. And then what most people are doing, and they're not eating – the old fashioned kind, they're eating the instant kind. And, and just do a comparison of the labels sometime when you're in the store, that little nutritional box that's on there. Uh, the instant stuff has more sugar in it, um, less fiber. And, and those are the, those are two things that contribute to, you know, m- making that food not heart healthy. So, and if you are making steel cut at home, um, that's great. But when you start adding that brown sugar and other sweeteners to it, you really are negating the benefit of of that food what so, about the dried fruit i like it with the raisins and things like that yeah so here's the thing so if it's dried fruit if it's not if it's if it's not um sweetened in other words like a lot of times you buy like dried cranberries uh they'll they'll be sweetened on top of that if you buy the original form 
then I think that's a that's an okay way. Uh, uh, what about well, uh, uh, cranberries? Don't have a lot of residual sugar in them. No, and, they don't. They don't. But people, if you read your labels, it'll say um, you know sweetened with sugar. Right. Um, and and it's not that you even see it on the outside. It's that they've literally soaked the cranberries in you know a sugar solution to sweeten them up because cranberries normally are really very tart. Exactly. You, know, make you have that pucker. But, um, ra- but yeah, raisins, raisins are not. Are Raisins are not. Raisins are sweet, naturally sweet. Correct. And, and so, we have 10 seconds okay. for the answer. <laughs> they're okay. They're fine. Go for it. Got it. <laughs> but in, in moderation. And quickly, what about eggs? I, I eat uh, two to three soft-boiled eggs on a, on a day like today. Eggs are fine. There's no cholesterol absorbed from eggs. Don't worry about it. Uh, I have three a day every day, practically, so go for it. And I like them runny. I, I like that runny <laughs> yolk. Uh, Thanks I, again for having me on, Mark. Man, hey, I appreciate d- it. And Daryl, shout out to you, buddy. <laughs> hey, he says, shout out to Dave Foreman, the herbal <laughs> pharmacist. Uh, you can find uh, Dave, by the way, at um, theherbalpharmacist.com, right? Uh, herbalpharmacist.com. Herbalpharmacist.com. Yes, yes, yes. Right on. Thanks again, Mark. Hey, thanks a lot, Dave. We'll talk Take soon. Care. All right, coming up next, we'll have a conversation with uh, Brent Hunter here on Late Night Health. Don't go away. More coming up.